Hello ladies and gentlemen, I have become obsessed with sheep farms. I've seriously become obsessed with sheep farms. This one was, by the way, the old sheep farm design. It works and everything, but it was just kind of on the slow side with just a single rail and however many sheep that fit in this bin. Then I tried to combine the two designs and I ended up with this problem. Okay, this is not all the exclusive problems. Okay, I got three sheep floating around on rails. I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six sheep just doing weird things out here. I don't know what's going on here, okay? Um, and so I tried yet another design with XB and I think the last design may be the final design, okay? It's basically 10 squares of sheep separated by essentially, what is it, dirt blocks or grass blocks, I should say. 10 squares separated by grass blocks and the grass blocks essentially have sheep in them. I don't know what I'm saying right now all of a sudden. But yeah, I, I decided to put a rail around it, kind of like this. But instead of the sheep running in the rail, there's myself in the rail. So I am going to attempt to build that instead. And that gives me at least 64. With 50 sheep, it gives me about 64 pieces of wool in one go. And so, let me figure out how to get out of this room here, because I've encased the entire thing in glass. I did this because just sitting there was extremely dangerous in this area. A free sheep! Hello, buddy! Come on down here, you know you wanna. Um, so yeah, I have this free track right here, and what I'll probably do is just use this as my model. And I don't know about this, I might just keep this for the time being. Okay guys, time to tear down the, the build here. Hello, skeleton friend. I see you. Goodbye, skeleton friend. Nice to meet you. Anyhow, I am only down here because I'm just collecting things. But basically, XB and I, um, XB's on here. He's not talking right now only because I glitched out the last time. And I had recorded my thing with one recording software and I was like, oh no, I totally screwed it up. Because I ended up recording his voice and his voice was much louder than I thought it was going to be. And I was like, oh yeah, I can turn this stuff down. It won't be a problem, blah, 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 right? And lo and behold, I apparently had him way, way too loud. And XB was just too loud for any of us to hear. And... So there's gonna be a lot of cuts early on. By the way, that was building that thing over there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can for that and make the edits as best as I can. In the meantime, I am digging holes only because this is oh no another giant hole here. Really? Sure, whatever. There. Yeah. So in the meantime, a bit baking digging holes for how this thing's gonna be set up. This one here gets set up with um, lines of sheep. This is almost like the first design, but basically I'm gonna have a rail going down here and then I'm gonna have sheep sitting up here and that way I have a way to shear the guys successfully. Um, we'll see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and build the design as best as I can. And I'll show you as soon as I get some more dirt to work with here. No, that's not where I want you, dude. Come on. No, quit it. Ah. Come on, shovel. Yeah, that's what I get for XP giving me like an ultra, ultra powerful shovel. It just digs everything. That's just, that's just, I'm sorry, XP. That's just crazy. Yeah, so for some of you guys, you're wondering, okay, this is actually Monday's episode, guys. Okay, and by the time you guys see this, I will be back. I will be probably working at the time this episode goes up. But where am I going, you're wondering. I am actually traveling, what, three hours something north of here because I've got some stuff to do outside of work that I've got to go to and I need to be there for a couple of days. So I'm actually leaving tomorrow night. So I'm like freaking out now. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, don't get, don't get me wrong. Okay, ooh. Oh, lucky, lucky. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of freaking out now. I've got all my episodes recorded this week. So today's Wednesday. So Thursday and Friday is already up and ready to go. Um, I'm freaking out only because this is supposed to be Monday's episode. The other one was already recorded. It recorded something like two hours of content. And because of how he recorded the sound, I'm like, darn it. I'm going to have to redo it, is what I said. And so here I am redoing the episode. 
Um, Tuesday episode also already recorded, and that one's gonna be fun. I take on a blade spawner, finally learn how to take down the blade spawner, and I found a way, a way to do it in 1.9, so successful me, yay. Um, so you're gonna get to see that on Tuesday. On Thursday, we're essentially gonna try to build ourselves a blaze spawner. Um, blaze spawner farm. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be, but I'm definitely getting a lot of netherrack and nether brick, which is gonna help me deal with the nether tower. What is with this hole that's just like hanging out right here? Come on, this is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't like this hole. It keeps showing up every like few seconds. Jeez, okay. So we're, we're gonna, I don't know what he's doing. He just, I think he's staring at me. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, he's gonna be there. I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this for a little bit. The idea is we want about 50 sheep in here and we're not gonna get 50 sheep because we only have so many in the farm upstairs. We only have so many down here. And so we'll work out all that detail at a later point. XB, be careful. You're live on camera and Jess may see what you're up to. Jess may see what you're up to. You're killing a sheep. I see little red light shining and it actually because of this thing. Okay, there it goes, better. He's better now. I don't know what he's up to, but he's, he's just trying to figure out what the heck is going on with the system. Anyway, so yeah, I have to make one more row. Oh, hole in the ground, stop it. You choose bad times. Wait, he did something. What happened? Uh-oh. Sheep, you've escaped. Sheep, why are you here? You should not be here yet. It's too early for you, buddy. He's going to make me a breeding pen. Yay, that's going to save me time. And we'll be able to get a hundred something odd billion sheep. To help me here, this is just, well, just what I need, you know? A hundred something sheep to hopefully save my day and hopefully get this going, right? That is, if he doesn't fall through here, that'd be horrendous right now. <laughs> right, okay, uh, let's, let's go take out the next row here. That would be very helpful. I'll meet you guys once I've got this all cleared out and I put just standard rails here. I, what I'm trying to do is it, there's an input all the way on that side. It goes round and round and round. And there's gonna be an output on this side. And then on the other end, it's gonna be a place where they can kind of interconnect, so to speak. And on that end, way up here, we're gonna essentially have a rail that goes right across the top here. And that's what I'm gonna try to aim for in a few minutes here, once I get the rest of this area kind of cleared out here. Day two, guys. Okay, folks. We finally got most of the system set up. I don't have the redstone thingamajig to make it go zoom yet. I'm going to worry about that in a little bit. Um, we're going to put some glass in here. And essentially it's going to look like a giant egg carton. Okay, basically this entire area is going to be covered in glass. Pretty much, pretty much so. All the way up to the other end of the wall. Um, yeah, this will, this will definitely work it. Um, Glass, half the glass here will be protecting me. Half the glass in here will be essentially doing its job to help essentially define where the sheep are. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, good, right on. And we're gonna have to find some kind of background border. I will worry about that at a later point. Once I figure out what it is I'm looking for. Oh, good, I can get up there too. A little more. Cool. So I'm probably gonna take out this wall too, just a little bit, but I think it'll work okay if I just leave it in. I think it'll be all right. So I'm gonna go put in a ton of glass. I will be back shortly. Uh, guys, I'm being poisoned to death by a witch. Witchy, what are you doing? Quit doing that, witchy. Okay, let's get rid of you. Stop it. Oh, yeah, right. You're gone, witch. Thank you. I'm being poisoned. Oh, my God. I'm getting... Oh, look at this. This is just... A... Wow. Okay, guys. What? I'm not allowed to sleep because I'm poisoned.
There we go. Never go to sleep while you're poisoned, people. Okay, guys, so part of what's happening is we're having to breed new sheep, and that's going to take forever, especially with the size of a build like this. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these two guys. Basically, we've got eight carton holes basically covering up the top of this entire thing, and you can start to see what's going on way, way down here with the sheep. I missed a few spots, apparently, which is kind of unfortunate for me. But the idea here is you get some sheep to go somehow load over this way to visit you. You take them by the leads and then you've just got to essentially wrangle them and shove them in the hole. Essentially like, essentially like that. That actually went far better than all the other ones I've done. Um, honestly, it really has. Let's get this guy over here well. And the trick here is just finding ways to shove them in there, just so that way they do what they're supposed to do, you know? And I don't I don't know how many sheep I'm going to have in here in the end, but I'm going to try before the end of tonight, which, by the way, today is... No, not again. Today is Wednesday night, okay? And i got to leave tomorrow, so I'm going to do what I can. Interesting. Why are you there? I'm going to do what I can to get as much of this done today, and worst case, I'll just show you kind of the finished product on next Friday. Yeah, I know, I really don't want to have to do that if I don't have to, but I may have to because of what happened with my editing with the previous one. Um, I might luck out over the weekend to have some time to actually edit. Ooh. All right, well, sure. I may actually have some time to do a little bit of editing, and I will see realistically if that is or is not possible. Okay, and if I can, I will definitely try to see if I can get this episode completely finished by Monday itself. And that's going to be a trick, because I'm going to have very little time once I get back on board with everything. And does everybody have a light bulb? Yes, they do. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple sheep here, and then I'm gonna try because it's 10:42. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of the rail system, just so we can show you what the rail system is. And then based on the sheep I've got in there currently, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the current sheep I've got in there. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is essentially how this thing's gonna work. I put a piece of redstone um, powered rail. It's just only on the end here, and you're gonna see as I zoom by. I pretty much can shear all the sheep necessary. Of course, I've got this a little backwards, but that's okay. And then I also can pick up the wool as I come back. And so already, I've already got 15 pieces of wool just from the couple sheep that I've sheared over there. I get to do those ones because I was just testing this out. And you'll notice the machine just barely, barely makes it. And But it's going slow enough. And that's the key thing. I want this to be slow enough to where I can actually cheer, have the actual time to cheer the sheep. Now, I'm sure there's a way to make this, you know, kind of a tape down your rice mount button and hope that you make it there kind of thing. But you can kind of see, just from the simple speed thing here, I might want to include a speed boost. I might, okay? Because it is starting to go slower and it could be because of all the stuff I've got in, in my inventory and I may actually not make this particular thing right here. Um. It looks like I may not make this one. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to put a speed boost over there just so I go a little bit faster. But you know what? If I wait long enough, I bet you I'm gonna hit it and zoom along. But I do think where I've got this particular redstone piece right here, it's actually in the right place. And also you can push you know, forward if you wanted to. That would definitely get you over it. Let's see if I actually hit it without hitting forward. It's gonna be like a slow motion move onto the power rail. Okay, power rail, turn on. I'm like right over it. Okay, forward. There we go. Okay, gosh. I had to hit forward just to get that to happen. But yeah, you can see I'm going reasonably fast and this is actually the speed I want to go on. And as I cheer these guys, by the time I come back around, I can basically pick up the stuff from them. And it's kind of a semi-automatic wool farm that works in 1.9, okay? And this is probably the better way to go compared to the other one I did. And it, the other one just seems a little slow. Just seemed like the sheep didn't eat like they're supposed to. And if you're noticing, by the time I get back, already sheep over there are getting their wool back. And at this point, with the number of sheep I've got here, I've got 34 pieces of wool. And this thing isn't even in full yet. So this is actually pretty cool. i got half a stack just from what I'm working on. By the way, what kills me here is I believe the light, right when I hit the light there. 
Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another piece to the puzzle here. And this light is only here temporarily, only to help me get the sheep up. I'm going to add probably one more, maybe maybe right, right on top here. Let's see what happens if I put it right here. I'm going to start over, go down here. It might give me the speed boost that I'm looking for, or it might not. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that gives me the right speed boost, but I'm going to probably miss some of these sheep here. But, worst case, I can kind of catch them on the way back, I guess. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is currently... Oh, I got to get the leads. There's a couple leads missing. Um, it's currently just a little bit after 12 midnight on Thursday. And there's no way I'm going to finish this anytime on Thursday. But at least I got a good, decent start. So I'm going to have to finish this up. If I'm lucky, maybe Saturday. If I'm not lucky, maybe Sunday. But I'm going to be rushing Monday's detail just, just a little bit quick, quicker than I thought. You can hang out maybe right there just so you grow up properly and don't get lost. Um, I'm going to get this very last sheep. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll get one more sheep once this little dude grows up a little bit. I'll probably get him too. Oh no, you got stuck over there. Yeah, so before I call it quits on tonight's episode here, um, I'm going to show you the finished product, of course, which won't happen for a little while here. Um, but I plan on showing you the finished product in a few. Um, for me, it's going to be about two something-ish days. So hopefully I remember what I was doing two something days earlier. For you guys, it's going to be like all one episode kind of thing. You know what? Just go, just go right there. Just go. Oh, you missed it. You missed it, sheep. Whatever, go in this one then. Um, I all, While I was waiting for sheep to grow, I was... Um, dude, sheep, you're, you're like horrible. Just go in any of them. I don't care which one. There we go. Yeah, so while I was waiting for sheep to grow, um, I did something special. XP is going to eventually log on while I am not here. And he's going to find out something. Because he logged off quite mysteriously inside of a little hole. He's been doing that ever since we've been doing sheep-related work together, okay? And so here's what I did for XP. I'm going to show you right now. Um, you'll notice there's an iron door which is open, actually, and there's a couple signs. This one says, XB, I made you a little home. Originally, there was a dirt block somewhere around here that said, um, I logged off inside this hole. So he can shut this door, lock the door, and you see I did some fun stuff with the Prismarine. I made some lights up here for the Prismarine, and I got a couple chests. They're empty. These, by the way, XB, used to be the chests that were, uh, Hanging out like literally right here, but unfortunately I need the space because I keep getting hurt every time I drive by. And I'm gonna have to like lock up the storage closet somehow just so I don't get get issues with that. But anyway, so I made this little this little room that he can you know hang out on the couch here and talk to people and whatever, invite guests over. This little coffee table, right? And then over here it's a regeneration chamber, and this is where I plan on logging off. I call it the regeneration chamber because if you look at the Prismarine over a bed, it reminds me of the Borg. Actually, just noticed something right there. There's a block that's slightly mistaken. You know what? I'll use stone brick. It'll be all right. One. Oh, one piece of stone brick. Yes, that will do it. So this little regeneration chamber, and what's very, very trippy, if you look at this from here, if you look very carefully, because of the shape of this, it actually makes this pop out in 3D compared to this right here. So that's actually super cool. Really? Did I forget the ceiling too? Oh my goodness, I forgot the ceiling too, and I ran out. No! Uh, what should I make the ceiling out of? I mean, I could do the same sort of thing, but... Hmm. You know what? Let's get a couple of pieces of diorite, brighten up the ceiling a little bit. I mean, he's going to be staring at this ceiling for a little while as he logs in and everything, right? I actually don't know where he's going to log in. It's going to be kind of funny if I killed him. <laughs> Honestly, it's going to be kind of funny if I accidentally kill him here. Um, so, XB and everybody else, I'm calling it quits for right now. Um, I'm going to briefly show you the finished product and then definitely log off. But because I'm probably going to forget this one day. Um, if you guys like this new semi-automatic, semi-automatic, okay? Not completely automatic, but semi-automatic sheep farm. 
Um, please do give me a like, do give me a subscribe, and definitely I will see you next time. And I'm looking forward to hearing your commentary. Um, because I now have a single row of lights here, let's count how many sheep there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's going to be eventually 60 sheep in here. This is what's ridiculous because I'm almost done. I'm, as you can see, I've got a little ways to go. I'm about mm, a little more than halfway to go. Um, but eventually there are going to be 60 sheep here. I'm going to hop on a rail. Train's going to take me around. I'm going to shear up all these sheep and I'm going to get so much wool. It's going to be so great. And then I'm going to sell the wool and the wool is going to get me extra money. And with said extra money, we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. XB, I, I might have just got water all in the redstone. Well, that ah. was fun. The sheep died. No, I'm just kidding.